What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Tekken 6, doing scenario campaign. Uh, I figured I'd just show you this. I click back onto it, and uh, you can pick who you want to play as. I, I wonder if I pick Elisa. I'm sure it'd be Lars as my other, but... We got Dragunov, we got King, Lily, Miguel, Brian, and Jack Six all unlocked. Those are the bosses we fought so far. Um, I think for the time being, we're just going to stick with Lars. We, we seem to be doing okay with Lars. When we left off, we were at the Fujian Tulu, I hope. That's what that's called. Either way. Let's hop to it. You know, I, I, re I regret talking so much shit about scenario campaign. I don't like that there's not really like a checkpoint, but other than that, it's all good. This Chinese merchant sure lives in an impressive place. Numerous bio readings detected. We should anticipate trouble if we mean to search inside. We might have to think outside the box for this one. Give me the money. All right. Now, I will say this. I'm still not like the biggest fan of like the Tekken 4 style uh, fighting here, but uh, moving around and whatnot. But, uh, It'll be what it'll be. <laughs> Complaining solves nothing, so we might as well just play. <laughs> I am happy I decided to do this, though, because I was I was pretty heavily against it. If you watch any of my other ones, like, oh, yeah, I'm not doing scenario. We'll figure something else out. When I talked about whether or not I was going to do it, I mean. Once again... I want to sound like a broken record here, but at least I need you to get that girl. <laughs> I was kind of saving that for her. I was hoping she'd get it. You know, I mentioned off camera as well that I was going to. Okay, good. But yeah, I was going to give him some items, but I still haven't done that yet, so. You get a fuck ton of money for killing that alien. Of course there was a guy in that box. Why wouldn't there have been? That's so fucking weird. Elisa. Did you really just take my, my thing there? I got three hits left in this motherfucker. I guess not. We have we had less than that. I just wonder who the boss here is. What the fuck, dude? 
Is that... I was about to say, are you Wang Jinrei? Save your words. Speak with your fist. That wasn't my intention, but if you wish. <laughs> so it's like, it's imperative that we don't lose here because... <laughs> this is the part... that screws you. If you lose. Thank fucking God, dude. Got that money too. I was worried a little bit there. Oh, I missed a couple. That sucks ass. <laughs> I was legit worried there for a second because if you lose on the boss, you don't get to just restart at the boss. You have to do the whole fucking level over again. That sucks. Anyways. I really need to add some fucking items. You know, I went through this whole thing without items on one time. I guess because I was too fucking stupid to add them. I really don't know. I mean, I had, wasn't too stupid. I was just... I was a kid last time I played this. I probably hadn't played Scenario Campaign in 10 years. Or more. Literally, when Scenario Camp... Whenever this game came out... Let me look on the back of the case here. 2009. I was like a sophomore in high school. Cutscene time. Do 
どうした君は三島平八が南米で発見したという碑文の話を聞いたことはあるか随分前になるが遺跡の調査で発見された部隊が壊滅状態になったという話は聞いたことがあるそれがどうかしたのか今回の三島財閥の動きと何か関係があるらしい気になるなこの件は俺が調べてみよう何か分かったら連絡する頼む私も三島財閥のデータベースを検索してみました鉄拳集が派遣された遺跡調査に関するデータはあったのですがどこにも気分についての記載はありませんでした君でも調べられないとなるとあとは彼からの連絡を待つしかないんだ The big one. I have no data relating to the buildings we encountered today. The elderly man inside had an obvious dislike for the Mishima Zabatsu due to the fact they disposed of one of his acquaintances. Registering sympathy, I wish to know the topic of this conversation with Lars. They're talking about Jimpachi, probably. Woo, look at all the places we can go. Hmm. West District, 13th Avenue. Or do we want to go to Mishima Polytechnic? I'm thinking West District, 13th Avenue. Because it looks like it leads to nowhere, possibly. <laughs> so we're just going to end it right, you know, we'll do this and... Get it out of the way. This is one dangerous looking neighborhood. I have detected bio readings within that multi tenant building. Look at this place. We have to be prepared for anything. That we do. Face me, cowards. Charges, chicken. That fucking... <laughs> That's fucking Paul Phoenix. <laughs> You son of a bitch, get back here. <laughs> no! I need that. <laughs> I need that desperately. Oh, 
I'm fucking salty as hell about Paul running off. That pisses me off so fucking bad. Thank God these sons of bitches are dropping eggs like crazy. Oh, I'm gonna lose my fucking pipe, I bet. Come on. You can run, I'll give you that. I'm going to be the toughest fighter in the universe, and no spiky-haired punk is going to stop me. Now bring it. Somebody's certainly quick to start a fight. You leave me no choice. Now ain't that some bullshit for starters. Come on. No, I'm going to lose. <laughs> Fuck. Oh wait, it's gonna actually let me restart the boss here? I can't believe it's actually re let me restart here. Oh fuck, the fucking... Phoenix Punch or whatever he calls it. I was going to say, I just need to beat him. That's literally it. As long as we can beat him, we were good. Damn, I can't believe it actually let me restart the boss. I'm fucking happy about that. While in the older region of downtown, we encountered a strange man. He punched through a wall, an impressive feat for a human, but then promptly retreated. We were successful in cornering him in an alleyway, though his actions still leave my circuit board confused. Evidently, there is still much I have to learn about this world. That's fucking Paul, man. <laughs> West District Chinatown Abyss Gate. Mixed Martial Arts Gym. Wild Kingdom. No, I think that's... Marduk, probably. I think. And Mishima Polytechnic. That's like that school. So that's possibly Xiaoyu. I'm not sure. But uh, either way, we're going to call it here. And in the next episode... I don't know which of these we're going to do. we got a lot of choices now. So stay tuned.